It's time, people. I'm gonna be a bridesmaid. But that is a really good rule when it comes to money and I think about it all the time. I'm actually quite a risk taker when it comes to things like that. So the reasons why I post less on YouTube now. There we go. everyone welcome back to my channel i have got a very bare face today because it's been a really long time since i've filmed a get ready with me so i thought that's what i would do today i'm actually going out this evening with my friends for dinner and drinks so i thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do my makeup a little bit nicer do something with my hair for once and have a good old chat with you guys i asked you for some questions over on instagram so i'm going to answer those as i'm doing my makeup i'll show you what products i use and it's going to be like a little girly sleepover vibe Anyway, I feel like this might be quite a long video, so I'm gonna jump straight in. The first thing I'm gonna do is my skincare because my face is very bare right now. I've had a bit of a breakout, as you can probably see. Not gonna lie, it's because I ate too much Nutella cheesecake and my skin definitely didn't love it, but I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do give it a big thumbs up and let's crack on. So the first skincare product I'm gonna use today is eye serum. I live for eye creams, eye serum, that kind of thing. I have genetic under eye circles. So anything that claims to help that, you best believe it's in my skincare cupboard. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. It feels so smooth. I could just sit here all day and do this, but I won't because we've got things to do. We've got places to be, people to see. Next product I use is this serum. This is probably my skincare find of the year. I absolutely love it. So it's from Ole Henriksen. It's the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. From the day that I first tried this, I have used it every day since. I feel like it makes my skin look brighter, more radiant, more glowy, and just more healthy. I'm a big fan. I will definitely be repurchasing this over and over again. Is that kind of product for me. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of moisturizer. Three simple products, eyes, serum, moisturizer, and you're good to go. This moisturizer is one of my faves. It's from Florina. It's a 24 hour hydrating day cream. I've gotten quite far through it actually. I'm gonna have to repurchase this as well. What a trio of skincare I've gone for today. I've definitely put too much on, but you're welcome skin. Hope you feel hydrated, hun. I'm gonna go and wash my hands because I've got moisturizer on them, but then I'm gonna do my nails. And this section of the video is very kindly sponsored by Impress Press On Manicure. If you've been watching my vlogs recently, you might know that my nails have been on a journey lately. And I actually mentioned in my vlogs wanting to buy some of these press on nails. So when Kiss got in touch, it felt like a no brainer. It was like fate. There are so many different designs, different colors nails with accent nails but today i'm gonna go for a classic because i'm going out for dinner it's gonna be very civilized so i'm going for the believe nails and these are like a french manicure with a little accent nail super cute let's put them on so here's a little close-up of the believe nails they are so pretty i've just washed my hands so my natural nails are nice and clean ready to prep so each pack includes 30 nails including six accent nails they really are the trendiest ready to wear press on manicure they don't require any glue which is fab they're safe for your natural nails so i'm going to show you how to put them on every pack comes with this little prep pad including a wipe this little tool to push your cuticles back and a cute little mini file, look at that. She's adorable. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the little file. I'm just filing the surface very, very gently. I'm then gonna use the little tool to push my cuticles back. This prep part is so important because if you do this right, these nails can last for up to seven days. And the final step of the preparation is the little prep pad. Just a quick little wipe and your nails are ready. So the next step is to find the correct nail size for each of my fingers. You'll see that each nail has a little clear tab underneath. This is what you peel off to stick them, but first of all, line that little tab up with your cuticle to see if it fits or if it's too big or too small before you commit to sticking it down. If you feel like one of your nails is between sizes, I would recommend going for the smaller size. I feel ready for any occasion now, even if I'm running late, which I always am, and I always forget about my nails. Now I can just pop these on and my nails are done in minutes. I love this design. I feel like it's perfect for everyday use. Or if you have a Christmas party or event coming up, but maybe you haven't got time to get to the nail salon or you just don't want to spend the money at a nail salon, these are perfect. And there we have it. Each pack of nails is $8.99 at Superdrug. You can buy them in store or online at superdrug.com and I'll leave a link to them down below in case you fancy a little at home manicure. Skincare done, nails done. Let's start the makeup. 
I am going to put a little headband on, it's going to look ridiculous, but since I've had curtain bangs cut in, obviously I need something to keep them off my face when I'm doing my makeup, so yeah, this is my go-to makeup headband. I'm not going to do anything particularly outrageous with my makeup today, just going to make a bit of an effort, you know? The makeup look I like to go for is like glowy, perfected skin rather than wacky eye makeup, because I'm not like good at eye makeup to be honest. So yeah, it's more about the skin for me. I'm going to get your questions up while I do this. First up, concealer. This is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. I use the shade 10 Buttermilk. And the first question, I've got them all here on my Insta. First one is, have you got any holidays planned? I haven't got anything booked. To be honest, I'm still scared about the world situation. I feel like lots of people have gone back to normal, which I am very jealous of. I wish I could do that. But I think, I was talking to my friend about this. I live in a little village where it's still very much feared, the whole COVID thing. Whereas my friend lives in Brighton, like she's going out all the time. So I feel like your surroundings has such an impact on how you view COVID and the world right now. So I haven't got anything booked because I'm scared. But next year, I am hoping to go to Italy with my best friend Leanne for our 20 year friend anniversary. Next question is how did you get into house buying slash renovating? It seems amazing. Saving my money from the moment I earn. One of my friends Gabby told me this ages ago when I first started earning she said save a third, spend a third, invest a third. I kind of took that to the extreme and saved most of it but that is a really good rule when it comes to money and I think about it all the time. I definitely don't spend a third of my money. I save most of it and then obviously I invested in my first property when I was 19. I then invested in a company the following year which I've never spoken about and don't really have any plans to and then I bought my house now. The first place to start is setting yourself a savings goal. I would tell myself at the beginning of each year I want to have this amount saved in my bank account by the end of the year and that really helps me keep focus and then it's all about who you know in the housing industry to be honest when you first find in your feet my dad's friends were my friends is there any chance of a Dyson Airwrap tutorial from you I'm actually going to use it later on in this video so keep watching I'm now bronzing this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade 2 medium it's my favorite bronzer right now you know how I was saying like skin is important for me this airbrush bronzer is so good at literally airbrushing you. I keep catching a look of my nails in the viewfinder and they just look so cute. The next question is one thing you're excited for and one thing you're scared for when you move out. One thing I'm excited for is redecorating. You best believe the minute I bought that house, even though I'm not going to be moving in for at least a year, there's this website called 3D Room Styler. It's free and you can like put the measurements of the house in and you can decorate it how you want and put kitchen cabinets in. It's like the Sims, but in real life, I spend so long on that website. I also spend ages looking at interior TikToks on Pinterest, so I'm very excited for that. One thing I'm scared for is living without my parents, not because I rely on them, but because I'm so close to them. We're like friends. I'm really gonna miss them when I move out, and I'm scared I'm gonna be a bit lonely, but we'll see when the time comes. No point worrying about it now. Someone said, Who's your comfort YouTuber? Maybe a weird answer, but one of my friends, Alice Thorpe. <laughs> well, literally, whenever I feel like I need something to distract me. I just put on one of Alice's vlogs. I use this bronzer to contour my nose a little bit. I just use the other end of this brush and I literally just go down the sides a tad. Saw this on TikTok as well, obviously. A little bit at the end and a little bit just there. And then in a while, I will blend this out. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Oh, I like this. What are my 2022 goals? It's time, people. It's nearly time for New Year's resolutions again. This year, I can't actually remember what my New Year's resolutions were, but I didn't have buying a house on the list and I did that. So that probably was going to be my goal for next year. So, I mean, do they really go to plan, <laughs> these goals? Although next year I would really like to expand my business Sunnyside. I would like to have a little office or a unit somewhere, potentially members of staff. But it's very, very early days. Like I've only been running this business for a couple of months. I don't know how realistic that is, but I think I'm gonna quickly outgrow the office I'm working from. So we'll see. I just wanna keep expanding, keep loving what I'm doing. I would like to get out and about a bit more next year. I'm very attached to my dog. She's very attached to me. But at the same time, I love spending time with her so much. Do I really want that? in my heart this is going to be a quick answer do you do any sports like dance or soccer etc no little bit of powdery powder now i'm gonna blend out my nose a tad too this is the huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade pound cake it's a loose setting powder i've had this for years there's still product in it look at all that never bought a second one 
They last for ages. Probably not the most hygienic thing anymore, but she seems fine. <laughs> really fine. <laughs> Under my eyes. Use it to contour my nose a little bit more. It is so hot in my bedroom right now. I'm gonna have a sweaty upper lip in no time. I then use a second powder because I'm powder obsessed. This one's from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Probably my favorite powder, you know, bold statement. And I also put this in the same sort of area under my eyes, by my nose on my chin. This really does airbrush you. Like it makes your pores less obvious. I never ever wear foundation because I feel like the combo of the concealer I use and this powder, I just don't need to. It looks fine to me. I've totally forgot to tell you what blush I used. This is from Bare Minerals. It's the Bounce and Blur blush in the shade Coral Cloud. Absolutely love it. In fact, I feel like I need a little bit more. I've not really gone to town on the blush today. I always put blush on my nose. Anyone else? I feel like it looks cute. Next up, I'm gonna start my eyebrows. Sometimes I don't really do much to my eyebrows. I just kind of like put a tiny bit of product in the end of them. But today, we're going all out. So I use the Benefit Brow Styler. It's got like a little precision pencil this end and a powder the other end. I don't use the powder because I think it makes your brows look quite thick and it's a bit too dark for me. So I just use the pencil and while I do my brows the next question is how to cope with waiting to have a boyfriend? I don't think it's a case of coping. I think it's a case of relishing in the fact that you are single and for most of your life you're not going to be single so make the most of it. This is the time in your life when you can truly be selfish, do whatever you want to do live the life you want to lead, not have to answer to anyone. Honestly, I love being single. It's all in the mindset, all in the noggin. Someone said, how did you find the confidence to start your business? Um, I'm actually quite a risk taker when it comes to things like that. I kind of think like if I don't do it, I'm never gonna know and what if I regret it in the future? I would hate to think like, oh, I wish I started that business that I had an idea for when I was 23 instead of being 23 and just doing it. And if it all goes wrong, it all goes wrong. It's part of the story. It's a chapter in your life. At the end of the day, each person is such a tiny part of this entire universe. If you start a business and you lose money from it, that money will come back in the future. It literally doesn't matter. As long as you don't like put yourself into loads of debt and stress your life out, get saving, get a little bit of spare money, disposable income that it doesn't really matter if you lose. Like don't use money that you're relying on to start a business because you never know what could happen. It could be the best thing you ever did and you could make that money back tenfold. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow today. I call it eyeshadow. It's very lazy eyeshadow. So this is a liquid eyeshadow from Bella Pierre. I got this, I think, in a glossy box. And it's the Liquid Shadow Eye Candy in the shade Venus. And you literally just put it on your lid and dab it in and you're done. Like, that's all I'm gonna do. But it's so pigmented. I love it. Those nails, girl. Where'd you get them done? <laughs> Literally, how easy was that? And look at the pigment. I'm now gonna do my eyeliner. Not gonna answer a question while I do this because it takes concentration. I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Eyeliner. Let your girl concentrate for a mo. Next up, I'm gonna do highlighter. This is my fave one from Ofra. It's the Steph Toms highlighter. And the next question is Christmas. Excited? present ideas. Very excited for Christmas this year. Last Christmas my brother actually proposed to his girlfriend and obviously we couldn't like have them round for Christmas because of Covid. We met up with them for a socially distanced walk on Christmas day but that was it. So this year we're gonna all be back together. We can properly celebrate the engagement plus wedding planning. So excited for the wedding next year. I'm gonna be a bridesmaid. How fun. I've never been a bridesmaid before. I tried on the dress the other day and love it. So excited to get like proper properly glammed up, have a day with all my family. So yeah, I'm really excited for Christmas this year. Lots of good food, lots of wedding chats, but presents, I have no idea what to buy anyone or what to ask for. I need to watch a few gift giving idea videos. I won't be making one of those this year because I don't have any gift ideas. <laughs> I'm now gonna use the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. And the next question is, how's your insomnia? It's actually okay right now. A few weeks ago, it was really bad again, but I think I'm over that little phase for the moment. Last night, I actually slept really well. It was the first time for ages that I've gone to sleep on one day and woken up on another day, because usually I'm awake early hours of the morning still. First time in ages, I was asleep by like half 11 last night. 
Fab, did you have any regrets getting Sunny? And someone else said, did you ever at any point regret getting a dog? I've really struggled with the puppy blues. I'm gonna be honest with this answer. Yes. For the first week that we had Sunny, I cried every day. Not because I regretted getting her, because she was actually a really good puppy. Like she had minimal accidents in the house. She didn't chew anything. She was easy to train. I just felt overwhelmed by it and overwhelmed of like this commitment and having to restrict my life so much. But after that first week or so, I was fine. And now I absolutely could not imagine my life without her. Like I have no regrets now. What app would you say you spend the most time on slash your favorite app? Definitely. TikTok. I spend way too long scrolling down TikTok and the stupid thing is the next day I will not remember one TikTok that I've seen the day before. It's such a waste of time but it's such a good waste of time in the moment. I'm now going to do my mascara. I'm not going to put any lashes on today because my friends don't care. It's a casual type of dinner. I'm so excited for my friends to see my nails and say oh my god Han your nails look so nice because I know they will. They'll notice straight away. And I use two different mascaras right now. So the first is from Anastasia and it is the Lash Bang Mascara. I just have the little travel size. We're going to ZZ tonight and I'm very excited because they've got a new menu and one of their desserts is like, I think it's a s'mores brownie or something like that. Oh, it looks delicious. And then the second mascara I use is from L'Oreal. It's the Volume Million Lashes. I find these two mascaras together work really well. The next question is, where are your heart hoop earrings from? Quite a lot of people have been asking about these recently. They're from Pandora. They used to just do them in the bigger size, but then they brought out this smaller size and I love them. I never take them out. And someone else says, I'm 39 weeks pregnant, congratulations, and can't decide on the name Rosie or Lane for our daughter. Personally, I love the name Rosie. I think it is so cute. Lane is a lovely name too, and really unique. So I guess it depends whether you want like super pretty or a more unique name. What about Rosie for the first name, Lane for the middle name, Rosie Lane. That is cute. And the last stage of my makeup, if I haven't forgotten anything, is lips. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm gonna answer one more question, because it's a question I feel needs answering, that I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil. I use these lip oils every day, whether I'm wearing lip liner or not. They're a really nice casual balm for everyday use. Anyway, the last question that I'm gonna answer today is would you ever start posting twice a week? Now, I used to post twice a week on YouTube every single week, but I had to change that for a couple of reasons. So the reasons why I post less on YouTube now are because one, I've been doing this for a really long time and I was just starting to run out of ideas and I hated making videos for the sake of it. I've always loved the more personal content, like vlogs and stuff like that. But when it came to hauls and that type of video, I was just running out of ideas and I found myself buying things for the sake of filming a video. What is the point in that? It's not good for my bank balance, it's not good for the environment. So that was the main reason why I went down to one video a week. Now, I can't imagine posting twice a week regularly because I am just so busy with work and I hate when people say that because it sounds so open-ended and like, are you though? But genuinely guys, all I do is work. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I've never complained about it. I love both my jobs, love creating content on YouTube and I love running Sunnyside, but it's a lot to do and I don't wanna be uploading naff videos for the sake of it. I don't wanna give you two half-hearted videos when I could put my all into one video a week. So I hope that answers that question for you. Anyway, this camera battery is about to go now. She's flashing at me. So I'm gonna quickly change that and then I'm gonna start my hair, get my little Dyson hair wrap out. Woohoo! That's how you know it's a special occasion aka pizza and pasta time. Right, so Dyson Airwrap. I'm no expert when it comes to this, by the way. I've only had it for a couple of months and I'm still kind of figuring it out. For some people, it works best on dry hair. Some people, it works best on damp hair. Mine works best on damp hair, but not too wet. It's quite a fine line. You've got to find the balance. So first of all, I clip up the top half of my hair. I do it in two sections. I do love this air wrap though. It's so much easier than using curlers. It works best for me if I've just washed my hair and I've dried my hair most of the way but not all the way. Obviously today my hair is dry so I put some water in a little spray bottle. I just got these on Amazon and I just dampen it manually. <laughs> and the attachments that I use the most with the air wrap are these two. So I've got the air wrap for long hair and also this one for my curtain bangs. I literally just start from the front using small sections and work my way back. There's not really much more to it than that. To the person that asked me for a tutorial, please go and watch someone else's more in-depth tutorial 
tutorial before you buy one of these. So with the buttons, you slide it up for hot air, up further for a blast of cold air. So I use the hot air obviously to curl it and then I hold it on the cold setting for maybe like seven seconds before letting go because then the cold air kind of holds the curl in place, kind of sets it. So hot, cold, let go. Cold. There we go, there's curl number one. And when you finish doing this, you will look like a judge with one of those weird wigs on. Trust the process though, it looks good after. Right, I'm gonna speed this up and do the rest of this section. I'm back with the majority of my hair done other than these little front sections because I thought I would show you how I do these. So I take them both up like I'm in the Grinch <laughs> and then taking this attachment, I've got to come down here so you can actually see what I'm doing and I literally just do this. Give it a last spray. And there we have it. I am all ready, minus the outfit. I'm just gonna wear jeans and a nice top or something like that, nothing too exciting. But definitely a pair of jeans with a bit of stretching. I need to fit a lot of pasta in there. But anyway, my loves, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I wanna say a big thank you again to the team over at Kiss Impress Press On Manicure. Don't forget to go and check them out, guys. There's a link down below. This set that I'm wearing today, in case you particularly love these, is called Believe. But there are so many lovely designs. I'm well and truly obsessed. Do subscribe to see my future videos. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again very soon with another little video. Bye, guys. Love ya.